President Osgood, Board of Trustees, Dean Smith, faculty, family, friends, and most of all, the graduates of the class of 2010 with your green ribbons and all. During your years at Grinnell, you have been part of a revered community seeking the truth, drawing strength from diversity, yet grounded in a common humanity, and founded on the deepest faith that knowledge is power that can be deployed for the common good. Or as Grinnell's mission statement puts it, the college aims to graduate women and men who are prepared in life and work to use their knowledge and their abilities to serve the common good. Grinnell's values have helped to guide this country, and through you, they can help to inspire the world. Take your values from Grinnell today, social purpose, community, diversity, management skill, and scientific knowledge, and go forward to show what you can do to improve the world. This is your turn, the great challenge of your generation. Congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2010. Don't be afraid to fail. When in doubt, make a fool of yourself. There's a microscopically thin line between being brilliantly creative and acting like the most gigantic idiot on earth. So what the, so what the hell, leap. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you here or elsewhere, and I may even see you in other classrooms around the world. And in leaving, know that our love, our affection, even our hope, that you will continue to grow and the blessings of God will remain with you. The one bit of advice I have for you all is if you slow down a little bit, look around you a little more closely, you'll get more integrated into that world and then you'll actually become not just the scholars you are, but more like the folks who are here this morning, some 50 of them I counted, who created all of this. And that's what you want to become now. The people who don't just live in an upholstered world that someone's built for you, but a world that you help create yourselves. Thanks so much. Congratulations to you all.